Rhiannon, wow, we are getting freaking married today. I know that you'll be freaking out, but don't worry. I will be waiting for you just as anxiously at the end of the aisle. I know you're gonna look so perfect. <laughs> if I was with you this morning, I would throw you the biggest woe. <laughs> I hope you read this letter before your makeup is on because I don't want you to ruin it. We're going to have such an amazing day and such a great celebration of the beauty of our relationship together. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I feel like today is the graduation of love. I'm so excited. I know I don't show much emotion, but as I write this, a tear comes to my eye. You are the most amazing partner I could possibly dream of. I already miss you and it hasn't even been a day. I hope everything goes well getting ready today. I'm sure you will look so beautiful. I can't wait to see you in your dress. With so much love, I will see you soon, gorgeous. Your future husband, Steve. <laughs> Welcome to the wedding of Stephen, Carol and Brianna and Ware. Today is a celebration of love, of commitment and of two people who are in it together forever. Marriage is not the beginning of what will be, but rather a celebration of what already is. No single act can define your marriage. Only you can do this through many acts of love, honesty, patience and support. And over your nearly six years together, you have shown all of these qualities to each other and more. And today you're going to recognise that with your favourite people, with a big party full of laughing, dancing, happy tears and a cracking dance floor.
I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to mind you both of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of two people with the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. This love story all started thanks to Frodo Baggins. You could say that Bree and Stephen are high school sweethearts, only their friendship didn't blossom until after they graduated. It was 2013 at the world-renowned and uber-classy event, Schoolies on the Gold Coast. <laughs> Bree and Stephen got to talking, and it wasn't long in their convo, with chaos swarming all around them, time froze still. They looked into each other's eyes and declared their love for the Lord of the Rings series. From then, they were hooked and spent the rest of their week together and have barely been apart since. One of the most important ingredients in a marriage is honesty. So a little while ago, I sent both Bree and Steve on a little questionnaire to fill out. They weren't allowed to look at each other's answers, but you're gonna find out what each other said for the first time in front of everyone here. <laughs> Stephen, Bree's favorite quality in you is your curiosity or in her words, your weird desire to know everything. <laughs> she loves that you're always wanting to know more about the world and things your brain, thinks that your brain seriously gets bigger every day. You make her feel loved, special and happy. It's super annoying when you leave all your work clothes all over the house as soon as you walk in every single day. but know you can always make her smile when you can answer her question without her even asking it. The face you give her when you get home from work like she's the only person you've wanted to see all day and hopes you never stop piggybacking her up the stairs. <laughs> Three, Stephen's favorite quality in you is your compassion. Understanding that he is not the most emotional guy, but seeing you completely owning and being at one with yours is so inspiring. You make him feel empowered, important, and equanimous. Look, I didn't know what the word meant either, okay? So, I, had, I Googled it, all right? It's an adjective. It means calm and composed. Equanimity is a state of psychological stability and composure which is undisturbed by experience or exposure to emotions, pain, or other phenomena that may cause others to lose their balance of their mind. For the rest of us, she's the yin to his yang. It's super annoying when you are hangry and in denial about it. Or you don't know what kind of food you want to fix it because not just any food will fix this hungriness. <laughs> he says it's very confusing. But when you smile, it melts his heart. And when you get excited, he's like a kid in a candy shop and is so happy, even if he doesn't know what the excitement is about. Purely just seeing you giddy lights up his face. Enough from me now, the part where you've all been waiting for where these two declare their love for each other in their own words, their vows. I ask that the people here today to witness that I, Stephen Jacob Carroll, take you, Brianna Molly Ware, to be my wedded wife. Brianna, firstly, I just wanted to say how beautiful you look today, and I'm so proud to be standing with, here with you as your husband. I truly worship the ground that you walk on, and I know you do the same for me, and you have never wavered in your beliefs belief in us and in me, and I love that about you. We all know that emotions and words sometimes escape me, and I will try my best today to show you how much you mean to me. I promise I'll always be here, by your side, through all of our adventures together. I'll guide you the best I can with what I know and what you've taught me. I promise to care for you when you need it, get you food when you're hangry, and clean up your gross pile of tissues from your side of the bed when you're sick. <laughs> Some of my favourite memories together is belting out songs while we're in the car, regardless of how much better my singing is. I remember just before we started dating, we were playing mini golf in the Gold Coast at Schoolies, and I was trying to play it off as a cool guy, but you saved me a little bouncing ball with a heart on it, and I couldn't help but feel weirdly happy. There were many moments leading up to this, but this was the first time you made me feel vulnerable and special, and I cherish that. They say perfect relationships are only true in fairy tales, but ours is pretty fucking close. We have grown together and accomplished things that some people take decades to do. I know that we have made these things happen because of the support around us and the support and guidance that we give each other every day. 
I promise to better express my emotions rather than keep you guessing as to what mood I'm in or how I'm feeling. I promise to continue to empower you at every opportunity to help you see just how amazing you truly are. Brianna, I love you so much. I'm not sure what my life would have been like had I not met you. And that's why I promise to be the best husband I can possibly be. I ask the people here today to witness that I, Brianna and Molly Ware, take you, Stephen Jacob Carroll, to be my wedded husband. Steve, of all the love stories I have ever read, and we both know I've read a lot of them, <laughs> ours is my favorite. You are my best friend, my person, my number one human in the whole world, and in a few short moments, my husband. I love you because you are always cheering me on. You are without a doubt my number one fan. And you always push me to be the best version of myself, even when I can't even see what that is. I love you because you're everything I've ever wanted, but more importantly, you're everything that I never knew I needed. I promise to love you, to be your best friend, <laughs> to respect you and support you, to be patient with you, to work together with you to achieve our goals and to accept you unconditionally and share my life with you forever. I promise to love you even when we're having pointless debates over everything, even when you're clearly wrong and you think you're right, but I'm right. <laughs> I promise, to show you, I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. I can't wait to laugh with you, cry with you, binge KFC and regret it with you, support you, adore you, but more than anything, I can't wait to fall in love with you over and over again every day for the rest of our lives because I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. Stephen, do you take Brie to be your wife? Promise to protect her, be loyal to her, make her laugh every day and always pick her ring up from today until your last. I do. Brie, do you take Stephen to be your husband? Promise to protect and be loyal to him, make him laugh every day from today until your last. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce these two husband and wife. Stephen, you can kiss your bride! I never knew to hope for the person that you are now because you are all of those things and more. You are blind and you're smart, but never boastful. You love wholeheartedly and indiscriminately. You are funny, stubborn, and a sense of humour that makes even the most boring of errands fun. As your married life begins, you two souls become one, surrounded by your loved ones. It's time to have some fun. We are so proud of both of you each and every day and so honoured to be here on the every day. Marriage is a promise to love one another. Good times, bad times, just hold on to each other. I'm honoured to have been part of your story together and to watch you two fall in love. You share real love and understand what it means to love through building, fixing, improving and just appreciating your relationship. Brie, you look incredible. Steve, Steve did all we could ask. No, Steve, you honestly did look great until Xander flew in. Now, if everyone could raise their glass to my best friend, Steve and Brie. Today's special moments are tomorrow's memories. Congratulations, Stephen and Brianna and Carol. Sit back, have a good time tonight, and be our guest. Oh!